item two, and item three. So basically what we did, what's it called, programmatically or through the use of a program, computer program, I don't know. I'm just, so what we did in JavaScript, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say, is we basically created an unordered list with nothing inside it, and then we created a list item, put some text inside it, and we did that three times, and then we put this list item inside the unordered list. Pretty cool. So we're done, right? Well, not yet, because think about it. What didn't we do yet? Well, we didn't tell this unordered list, and even though it's complete, we didn't say where do we want it to show up on the website. Well, of course, we want it to show up in the D. So go ahead and put this in your D, and this is how you do that, of course. The first thing we need to do is we need to reference the D through JavaScript. So the D equals document.get element by ID. So we go ahead and put the ID of it, which is the D. So now the D is equal to this right here. So now what we want to do is we want to put some things inside our D. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to stick this title in here. Remember that we created a while ago. So how do you stick things inside other things in JavaScript? Well you append child. So the first thing we want to append is what's the name of that? Title title and after this we want to append the unordered list which is now complete by doing this list so now let's go ahead and run this baby save save refresh and check it out here are some things old Dan chicken wings and tuna and let me go ahead and uh, answer this question right now because you guys are probably saying okay I see what you did here you basically created an unordered list in, you know, list items, stuck everything inside. Explain that. But where the heck are the closing tags? Shouldn't you, you know, append something like this, a closing unordered list tag? Well, that's the beautiful thing about JavaScript and also working with XML nodes. There's no need to manually close your tags because that's all done through JavaScript. It knows that once you're done sticking things inside this list, then we can go ahead and close it for you. So you just have to say that you're creating a list item or unordered list, and then when you're done with it, JavaScript automatically takes care of all the housekeeping, closes everything for you. It works beautifully. So one last time, what we did is, and by the way, if you're saying, you know what? why wouldn't I just do this you know first of all you can probably type out this example using all HTML and it'll be a lot easier but why did I go ahead and teach you guys this example well first of all because whenever we're working with HTML and generating it dynamically or using XML and we need to use you know the use of this in loops well this is really easy to use in a loop because we can just go ahead and append a child append a child stick a bunch of different items in an unordered list and it'll just go ahead and do all the housekeeping stuff for us so if you want to generate a page dynamically for someone maybe you have a bunch of different users users on your site and they have a list you know maybe some person has three favorite things maybe some person has 18 different things well you can go ahead and make a for loop and it will loop through however many times needed and the code can be different for everyone and it'll work perfectly for every single person no matter how many items they have in their XML so guys let me go ahead and explain this one more time if you got it then go ahead and uh, skip to the next tutorial but basically what we did is we created you create your nodes from the outside and work inwards. We created an unordered list and then we created each list element with the text inside and eventually when we were done with the list elements you have to stick them inside your list and then what we did is we basically well I think it's pretty self-explanatory from here pretty much stuck everything in the div and displayed it on the screen. So guys that is how you programmatically, I think that's the correct word, work with XML and Ajax, and that's the tech, or excuse me, XML and JavaScript, and that's the technique that we're going to be using for our future Ajax tutorials. So now you understand it. Congratulations. By the way, I got a Facebook now. Everyone was telling me to get Facebook. I finally got it. There's a link below. Add me. See you later.